the problem with us as Christians, or with Hindus, or with Muslims, is that it's very rarely that we think as Indians. When the Archbishop of Delhi made a statement and shared a thought with the rest of the churches in the country, I was hurt by what he said. Hurt not because he was, he was wrong in his views. He's entitled to his views. But what he was wrong in was positioning our country, our mother, in a very negative light. Because the truth of the matter is, yes, we are in a turbulent political atmosphere. But that turbulent political atmosphere will always exist. It's never going to go away. Is, are our constitutional uh, values or, the, or secularism under threat? You don't even, many of us don't even know the definition of secularism. So when I did share my views, and I disagreed with his views, there were a section of, of the people of India that appreciated those views. But there was a considerable section of people from the Christian community who branded me as an anti-Christian, as somebody who is against Christianity, as somebody who is a dog of Prime Minister Modi. It's serious. That's what they labeled me as. And you tell you the truth, it doesn't matter who's in power, whether it's Modi, whether it's anybody else. What matters is what we think. Today, the Christians have contributed a lot to this country. Yes, the Catholic Church has made mistakes. It continues to make mistakes. And like every other religious institution, there are going to be evil that penetrate institutions. They penetrate the government. They penetrate organizations. They penetrate everywhere. Today, when I take a stand and I demand the arrest for Bishop Franco, I am not doing this to prove that I'm an Indian. I am doing this to show the people that even evils in the church need to be called out by the Christians, nothing else. If today, media can blow up issues of rape pertaining to Hindu priests and, and other uh, sadhus, why can they not take up a topic wherein a bishop is accused of raping a nun 14 times and the Kerala police have got enough circumstantial evidence to prove the same. Why is he not arrested? Is that wrong for me to demand that? Today, many people said when I started the campaign, the Christians will not support you. What is happening today as we speak in Kerala? There's a protest by Christian organizations wanting and demanding the arrest for, for Bishop Franco. So it's not Christians that are the problem. If you ask the Christian down the road whether he loves India, he does. Whether he loves his church, of course he does. So today when somebody tells me your name is Savio Rodericks and you should do a garvapsi because I'm standing for nationalism, nationalism, I'm laughing at that thought. What has my name got to do with nationalism? And what garvapsi should I be doing? I am in my home, you know. Are you going to say that I'm an outsider? Just because I'm a Christian, am I not an Indian? How many Christians have contributed to this country? Whether it's in the Air Force, whether it's in do being lawyers, doctors, businessmen. Not all of us think that way. Sometimes I think fundamentalism in religion whether it's Christianity, whether it's Islam, whether it's Hinduism, just takes the message of what God is trying to say out of it. And you can't mix religion and you can't mix governance. It's not the same. It's just not the same. 